24th video update. I'm postponing once again the update on using my uh, new Crane M gimbal. Uh, and, and why am I doing that? Because the good folks at Luma Touch just came out with an update to probably one of the most uh, exciting and professional mobile apps for video editing called Luma Fusion. It's only for iOS, but they um, came out with a new update and I didn't want to put, put it off another week before talking about it because it's really quite exciting. I discussed a Luma Touch update to Luma Fusion back in mid-January when they made it possible to work directly with a Western Digital or WD My Passport drive. At the time, it was the release of a new SSD drive by Western Digital and it coincided with Filmic Pro also um, making it possible to record directly to, to either of those drives, either the Pro or the SSD version of their wireless drive. And that was pretty exciting in and of itself, but this new update makes it even better. Now, I have been getting ready with demo footage using my variety of cameras on the Crane M, so I will be doing that in a, a video update next week, promise, unless somebody else comes out with something that I feel I need to talk about before it. So how does this update 1.6.6 of LumaFusion make the integration with the Western Digital Drives better? Well, let me back up just a second and explain that my Western Digital Drive sits in our kitchen and I can access it if I'm in the kitchen or in a real close and adjacent room, I can access its wireless signal. And the way these things work is that they broadcast a wireless signal. You can have them connected to your home network or to a wireless network, wherever it is. And then you can access the internet through this drive. That's not usually what I do. I usually only access the drive to access the drive. But I've always had to connect to it in order to be able to use my cloud and, and go through the things that are stored on that drive. Well, I didn't do that. I was still connected to our home network. I walked into the kitchen. I launched LumaFusion right away. LumaFusion, this is the new version, first time I've launched it since it was updated, prompted me that it found a WD drive in the vicinity. Did I want to connect to it? So I said yes. That's what surprised me. And then I continued. I was already in LumaFusion. I opened one of the projects that I was, had been working on that in, into which I could have imported some more things. And the way it works, as you see on the screen, you click on the little icon in the upper left and that changes the input source for a variety of things, um, music, royalty-free music, uh, if you want to import uh, things, if you want to uh, use transitions and so on. So you click on that and one of the choices is important. That's the way I've always accessed the drive in the past. But I noticed that between import and photos at the top was a new entry and that was WD with a little Western digital icon on it. And so that surprised me. So what did I do? I clicked on that. When I clicked on that, it opened, it, it spun a little bit and then you saw storage and that's the default folder into which things are stored on my particular uh, drive, which I've named Booze, I think Booze Passport. So I clicked on storage and it spun a little bit more while it was accessing the drive. And then all the folders that are on the drive showed up in a list. So I could choose any one of those folders. Just as before when I would do that through import, but now it's an entry all by itself. And that was exciting enough and that confirmed to me, okay, I see how this works, this is cool. So I put it away for then. A little bit later on, I was upstairs, we were getting ready to watch some TV and the, uh, upstairs room where the TV is is quite a distance from the kitchen so I wanted to try and see if I could access it. So I launched uh, LumaFusion, went to w, when WD was already chosen and sure enough it showed the uh, folders again. I figured okay well that's just because it, it thinks it's still there. So I went to something else like photos or transitions and went back to it and it still showed up. So I was still able to access it even though I was not connected to that drive wirelessly. Um, that is to say directly to that the wireless signal on the drive. So why is this all kind of exciting? Well, for one reason, the way videos work when you're sharing your photo library, photos or you know, videos or photos, 
is that they are shared to the cloud, to iCloud, and then they're shared to your other devices. So if I have videos on my iPad, and I use my iPad Pro when I use LumaFusion for the most part, that means that video will also be in my iPhone. Well, unfortunately, my iPhone has a 32 gig limit, and I am lucky if I have six gigs free so that I can use it for taking, you know, doing videos like this. So that's a little bit of a conundrum. Now, I've solved it by somehow not having the iPhone share images and videos that are on my iPad. And so if I take a video off of the iPhone and put it on my iPad, it's not on the iPhone anymore. It doesn't just suddenly appear again. So it's not taking up space. And that's, that's been the space issue for me. The solution for that for me has been to try to break this, this uh, syncing connection. And I did that successfully. Not quite sure how I did it, but I did it. And to keep videos on, like the, SAN, the SanDisk I expand drive that I've talked about before. So, what Western Digital's connectivity with LumaFusion brings to me is I can put the videos on the, the hard drive, the WD drive, and import them into LumaFusion. They're go not going into the camera roll, so they won't sync with my iPhone camera roll and take up space on the iPhone. They'll only be in, Luma, in the LumaFusion app and, and therefore will use space on my iPad, but I have 256 gigabytes on my iPad, so I have plenty of space, at least today, in, in this environment. Um, and so that's why this is exciting. But it's t also exciting because the WD drive is a drive that I take with me when we're on trips. So if I'm, we go on a trip and I wanna do a lot of video, I can offload that video as I do, have done the last couple trips to the Western Digital Drive, and then I can access that drive, whether we're in a hotel or we're on a ship or you know, we're in somebody's home that doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi, I can access that, that uh, material from my iPad to that drive, and it's not taking up any space on my iPhone. And so that's why this is exciting to me, and I think you'll find it to be exciting as well. And I also, and I'll put a link to this uh, in the, the description, I also discovered a, a, another thing that I didn't realize I had available to me. Uh, somebody had made a video and, and uh, uh, demonstrated it, is that by going to files and, and making sure that iCloud Drive is, is uh, or my iCloud is checked, then I can still see those, those uh, items if I just go to the file, files menu on my iPad. So, very exciting. And I appreciate your patience if you are waiting to hear about my Crane M. And uh, hopefully we'll get to that next week. So thanks for checking in this week and I'll see you 